Hi, good morning everyone. I'm in Singapore right now and I felt that it's time to make a video. So here I am. I was living a crazy wild sexual lifestyle for the longest time and especially after I broke up with my first boyfriend, Stephen. That's not his real name. I, I have the habit of giving my special man a special name. So Stephen, when I was with him, you know, in a relationship with Stephen, he actually introduced me to a place, a park in Malacca, where gay people hang out, mainly gay people hang out just to find sexual partners. He brought me there for fun. We were boyfriends and he brought me there and I went and um, I got hooked. I got hooked with that place. We broke up in that place actually. We even met somewhere there. We did not meet in that park. We met in a swing, swimming pool near that park. But eventually, after breaking up, I still continued going to the park every single day. Nearly every single day I would find a different man and had sex with him, followed him home. He followed me home or went to a hotel, went somewhere having sex. That was the crazy, crazy life I lived after breaking up with Steven. It was horrible. It was really horrible. And my friends and I even gave a name to that park that is not an official name. We called it Sapphire Park. A place where we dressed up every single night looking for men. I thank God I am not HIV positive. God protected me. Oh, he's by His mercy and grace. God saw the future. God knew that I needed to be protected so that to do what I'm doing today, which is running the ministry I'm running. Anyway, my, m talking about Sapphire Park is not about, uh, it's not the reason why I've made, I'm making this video. Um, I feel there is a need for Christians, people who call themselves Christians, people who call themselves lovers of God and lovers of a godly life to run away from anyone and anything that is going to lead them to temptation you know it's been i've stopped going to sapphire park for many many years i walk away from the the gay lifestyle from the crazy wild sleeping around with men lifestyle when i was 20 late 24 early 25 i'm going to be 49 this year do your math so many years so many years you know, I have no desire or inclination to go back to Sapphire Park and uh, going back to that stupid lifestyle, in my opinion. A lifestyle that wasted a lot of my time, a lot of my money. A lot of my life was wasted, you know. But anyway, my point is this. I know of people who claim to be lovers of God and they say, oh, they want change, they want the journey of recovery. They want to run away from a lifestyle that is not of God, but yet they put themselves into danger. You know, for example, I know someone who who falls into sin through his handphone. So at night, he would actually, he needs to put his phone away because at night is when he falls into the sin of porn and masturbation. And I keep on telling him, Keep your phone away, put it somewhere, give it to someone, throw it away, whatever it takes to, you know, to, to not fall into sin. And if you claim to love God, you will not allow anything or anyone, you know, tempt you. I always use this, this example, even though I am, have gone this far, I have the, I'm, I've walked away from the, the, the crazy gay lifestyle many, many years, but I still will not go to Sophia Park. I don't even think I will be tempted when I get there. But still, I do not go. I will not put myself into temptation. So if you know that something in your life, whether it's a phone or a, a person or a place that is going to, that had tempted you before or is going to tempt you, then stay away from it. Stay away from that person. God has given you this to use. Stop making excuses. Grow up. Grow up, you know, so be wise. Love yourself enough. Giving into temptation is not loving yourself. You're just destroying yourself. In fact, the word of God says, sin is destructive. Sin will bring death to you in one way or another. So the message of this video is run away from temptation. 
run away from anyone or anything. Use your brains for crying out loud. I'm just going to close this video with a Bible verse. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 10. Sorry, verse 11. But you men of God, avoid all these things. Strive for righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. 12. Run your best in the race of faith and win eternal life for yourself. For it was to this life that God called you when you firmly profess your faith before many witnesses. So it strived, run, stop making excuses. You can do it. You can do it because you're not alone. If you're really a Christian and you have invited, you have the rights to invite Holy Ghost into your heart. You will have that strength. You are not alone. God will not leave you nor forsake you. Make the right decision. Make the right choice. And tell yourself, I want to get better. I want to run. I want to strive. So put that phone away. Put that thing away. Run away from that friend. For those who do not know me, I am the ex-transgender pastor. And take your life seriously. Shalom. Bye-bye.